What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a real SQL interview question asked by Apple during data scientists or data analyst interviews or anything similar. This one's marked as medium. Let's get into it. Now please excuse the bad camera quality for today since I'm recording from my phone, but this question is interesting. It's called customers without orders. The task is to find customers who have never made an order and we should output just the first name of the customer. It is interesting because I've actually interviewed at Apple and went through the entire technical interview loop and this one seems very similar to what I've been asked. They asked about store information, they have Apple stores of course, and then also about a similar question which just uses Apple Music data but pretty much has the same underlying idea. We have two tables for this question, one called customers and one called orders. Quite classic customers contains information about all customers. We can preview it here to see that we have ID, first name, last name, city, address, phone number. Address is missing for some people, but we don't want address for our question here. We have orders as well, which contains information about orders. One row for each order, it seems like. We have an order ID, custom ID, which is also in customers, order date, order quantity, order details, and order cost. Order cost is going to be the cost of the entire order. You don't have to multiply it with order quantity or anything, but that's really not relevant here anyways since we're just looking for customers who have never made a single order, no matter how much it costs. So let's think about how we're going to approach this because there are multiple ways to approach this question. I'm going to start out just using the one that came to mind first for me and then we're going to go through other possible approaches. So we're going to select first name that's going to be the same for all solutions since that's the only field in our expected output. We don't have to order that output in any way it seems like so we can just start off by selecting that first name from customers. It's only in customers and now we're really at the point where we already come up with that solution. It's medium but it can be quite easy if you know what you're doing and if you have seen similar problems before and I had and basically my logic is that I want to output customers first name which we established only if they don't appear in the orders tables because if they appear in the orders table that means they have made an order since one row in the orders table means one order has been made. So we're gonna look that up by using a work condition and we can't use first name or last name since People might have the first or last name and then first name and last name don't appear in orders. We only have cust ID here for customer ID and we have that ID in customers as well which is going to be customer ID. So we're going to check for ID being in that orders table. So if the ID is not in the orders table then we're going to output this first name and that's going to be our final output. So now since we want to compare IDs to IDs in orders we need to select um, ID from orders. Now this would be uh, order ID right so we need to call it cust ID for customer ID. Now this just compares the ID in the customers table which would be here, 8 for John, and see whether it is in the list of all customer IDs in orders. Since it really doesn't matter how often we have customer ID in that list, we're just going to use distinct to keep it short and only have it appear in there once and basically remove duplicates and that should do the trick. We're selecting customer ID specifically because otherwise SQL is not going to know which field to compare this ID to. It could compare ID to order quantity, which would be totally wrong. So that's how we're going to do that. We don't need to give this one a name since it's just a subquery that should just create that list. And if we run that, we get a list of customers who apparently never made an order. So if we check solution, it's going to be accepted. And that's already it for my solution. It is quite short. We didn't have to join anything. We're just looking that up. But there is another way to do this which includes joining. In this case, left joining. 
since that is often used if you want to have that information included about one element in the table not showing up in the other table and that's exactly what we want here for ID and let's just go through an example we can browse solutions here by going to the solutions from users tab you can see mine right here which I submitted right now and we have other people who have worked on this problem and this one includes a left join so instead of a regular join or just no join at all which is what I did this user has left joined customers to orders so we're gonna have null values for the order for the fields in orders if there hasn't been a match for custom ID and this person uses that null value and checks for it in a where condition to see that if it is null we're gonna output that customer's first name and that way we establish the same thing of customers who have never made an order. Another user utilizing this concept is Philip Chow which also used a left join here. Basically has the same query up till line 2. But they're grouping by first name and counting up order IDs to see how many orders each customer made. And if that count is 0 they're going to output this person's first name, this customer's first name and they're using having because they're filtering on the value of an aggregate function count being the aggregate function. You can't use where here since the count is being calculated after the where if you know about the order of execution in SQL but this solution is probably more complicated than it needs to be it does make total sense though so if we would change the question to customers who have never made more than two orders. This user could easily change up the query to just have it be greater than two instead of is zero. So that's good about this solution. We also have another possible way of doing this using subquery. So instead of having, we can use where if we evaluate that count first. So if we make this a subquery, have the count in there and then filter the count to being zero. This having clause just makes it shorter and a bit better maybe, but pretty much the same thing. I would say the main solutions here are mine and the left join one and that's how you usually approach these types of problems I would say. And if you have the condition to have made at least X orders, then you can always use the having or subquery approach. I really like this question because it allows you to solve it in multiple ways and just think about which one you like best or can explain best. This one's pretty short, so I like it. And it does make sense from how you think about the problem. So you want to show first names of customers if their ID is not in the list of IDs in the order table. So if they don't show up in the orders table. Now that's been pretty much it for this problem. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like down below and consider subscribing. I also made a playlist for all Strata Scratch problems I'm going through, so you can just follow that to do a few more of these. If you wanna try these problems yourself, I'm gonna have a sponsored link down below to this platform where you can try this question and others. And if you end up deciding to go for premium membership, it also helps out the channel since it's a sponsored link. And apart from that, I'm going to see you all next time. Bye.